before we begin, I just want to mention that if you need Grand Archive singles, then you can go to cardmerchantnelson.co.nz and use the code CMNSN5 at checkout to get 5% off orders of $50 or more. Your purchase helps support videos like this one. Anyway, enjoy the video. Alright. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Hi, James. How are you going, Marnie? Good. Yeah. I hear you uh, <laughs> did okay at a tournament recently. Still got it. Yeah. Yeah. With wind. Water. Sorry. Water. Water. Yeah. Did it with water. Classic water allies player. One, one trick. Pretty much. I mean, it was quite different. Like, we've talked about it, um, you know, going to Worlds. Like, Melbourne Nationals kind of surprised me i guess how well the deck performed there like with water lorraine yeah. um and then going into worlds i was like having some speed wobbles but i genuinely came up with the theory that uh because luxem xander was the best deck then and i was like all these hardcore meta gamer you know sweaty as competitive top players are just gonna try and one up xander, Go taller than xander yeah, yeah so they're gonna play and Big the only league. deck that could have been was rye yeah and I was like, well, my water Lorraine is pretty good at Rye. Yeah. I'd practiced a lot against Riley here locally and like just Tithe Proclamation turn one and then just beat the crap out of them. Yeah. Basically was the one. So yeah, I stuck to my guns, went to Worlds, obviously did well, went 5-2 into day two and then lost to the one Wind Allies deck, obviously, because that's yeah. what happens sometimes. But um, Bad matchup. Yeah. But what happened in Auckland? Oh, Christchurch. Christchurch, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, after after that and some new sets and everything, like, the Lorraine deck just not... It wasn't feeling very good. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's hard to pinpoint what it was, but, I mean, yeah. So, anyway, so um, I forgot to put some shout-outs about this when I posted online and whatever, but, um, you know, currently play... Uh, well, for a Christchurch Ascent played um tristan water allies um all the way to level three and i gotta give big props um and thank you to uh ivan ding um yeah. who's uh, on, on the team uh talks to me a bit uh he's up in auckland um but he's i i pro i pronounce him as the best water allies player in the world to be honest he went 12 uh, at ascent world's ascent yeah. team ascent with uh, water to Norris, but he just plays whatever water. He, he top aided the first Auckland Ascent with water Lorraine. True. So he's like really good. And um, he he said like, you know, I'm playing Tristan, you should try it out. And that's kind of, it's the deck I've played for probably the last four or five months, mate, or four months. Yeah, I guess. About. So I played last regional season. Um, I played it in Wellington. Um, lost round one against Merlin and then went 5-0 and came second. Um, Not bad. Which was crazy good. Yeah. But um, so it's it's a lot more dynamic, I think, than the Lorraine deck. And you get cards like Incapacitate, which is obviously just an all-star yeah. into certain matchups. Um, the level three is very different. You know, Lorraine, you can get a draw if you've played Drawn Blade. Um, and then... You know, you've got the dispersion or something sometimes for that push, but Tristan Shadow Dancer is just way more versatile. Yeah. Like, and it protects you and it gives you aggression. Like, you know, if you get the it dagger. Can grind or yeah. it can just kill people straight yeah. away. Yeah. And then they like swing with my big thing and you just remove two prep and it's like, what? Yeah. You know? And then Shadow's Claw is five attack damage every turn. Um, so, you know, off the back of Scepter-ing up to level three and then having, like, five damage with no other allies. Like, mm -hmm. you're playing an allies deck yeah. and you get two free allies when yeah. you go to level three. It's crazy. So, um, yeah. And I think the other big difference we've talked about is that the level two, um, as long as you prioritize uh, or, you know, if it's relevant in the game state or the match, um, you prioritize some prep counters like just drawing two cards automatically off your level yeah. two if you're at four prep is just crazy yeah. like in the deck it's like i'll just set you for free for f like you know Draw four damage card. for free like banish two if i don't have a floater yeah and then replace the cards and then recollect and draw and i'm just like seven or eight cards still yeah and i've got more health and i'm dg into level mm. three like yeah and even the level one with the agility or the prep depending on what you want 
That's true. Being able to get agility when you can just jam two allies on the board, then draw back, get your frostbind or whatever you need yeah. to protect your board is really, really good. Yeah, you're not wrong. And I mean, and Sadie as well is just like so good. And having all of the active like class bonus being the on kill agility. Yeah. You know, that's just better than any ally Lorraine had, to be fair. So yeah all around she's a she's very good and you know the last thing i guess about comparing the champions to lorraine is that you know we always love to level one lorraine get a free weapon you know you're getting a free materialize but now like well with assassin you've got um mercenaries blade yeah. if you need it before level three and then most games you just have a shadow's claw as well yeah. so you're getting the same you know you're getting that covered you as well same so free materialize ultimately it just feels better for for most things i think yeah 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 so what did you play against in the in the tournament what you've been you're like what's your bet? <laughs> so Thanks. i mentioned the wellington regional for a few months ago and legitimately like we went down you and i drove thursday yeah. night got there midnight slept about seven hours rushed straight to the venue on friday morning yeah um card merchant nelson we were vending as well so friday i did like a 12 hour shift from like eight to eight just like buying and selling cars like a madman um thanks to everyone who dropped by the stand and helped us out sold or bought cards it's always appreciated um but yeah like i mean i was just not i was not super confident in the the deck choice even though i've been playing it for a while but you know like slimes is is a hard map well you know it's it's a good deck i guess yeah. and then like you know the vanitas and stuff i was like if some of them show up like it's a bit harder like i have to play nullifying mirror and then hopefully piece some wins out you know yeah. from there but you know and it, yeah some hard some hard nice. matches i learned that water nico is a hard match <laughs> um but yeah so i just wasn't like confident but we went in and we played day one and i uh i guess from worlds and whatever i got asked to go on stream uh, luckily i was on backup stream yeah but I play against this nice dude from um, Australia and he whips out like OG style Merlin, like fire mm -hmm. Merlin. And honestly, like game one, I should have won. Like I hate saying that, but like I remember the board state, I had like four, three or four allies out and he's already on like 15 damage or something. And, uh, and he, he plays Resolute Stand, and I'm just, I haven't played into the card for like three or four months. Forgot about and that I just shit. forgot like how it worked. I literally wasted, uh, like, I, I was like, oh no, so now I can't do this. And I messed out this inspiring call um, thing with, uh, I think, Scepter and inspiring call, sorry, on Gildas. Mm. Um, and I could balance it all, but I forgot that my level two drew cards. So I off balance myself. Oh. <laughs> and so I was like, I've lost lethal here. And then I draw slice and dice. And I was used to that being like nine damage. Nine. Yeah. And so I played it into a resolute turn and it was like, oh, and then just it did zero. Mind. And I literally just lost the game. Like I was all, I think it was all cards down by that point. And he's just like incarnate and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know could have could have been kept uh, that or whatever as yeah. well but yeah so it was just it was a bit um bit of a tilt and uh second game i didn't get the same pressure on and you know fair play he just grinded away and then he got his incarnate out again it was like uh, so too hard. classic round one loss yeah so i lose again like wellington to yeah. buy merlin and i i came out and i was like trying not to be devastated and i like was like i'm gonna submarine again i'm gonna do a wellington again yeah you know and then that's what happened it's important um, to have that mindset to just keep playing yeah well i've you know i've never had it so much like that before but um it's definitely a thing so i'm glad yeah. i've found that belief i got it from you actually so you like submarine so much yeah you're my inspiration so yeah before the wellington regional i always nearly I, I, I can't remember the last time. Like, I win the first round or more, and then I just dip down to, like, 4-3 or, like, you know, 3-4 yeah. or something at the end. And James always loses round one and then finishes above me. So I was like, you know, got to ah, learn how to do it, man. But, yeah. So after round one loss uh, to some terrible play as well as decent enough opponent, um, I played four more fire decks. Wow. 
And I was like, man, this is a water dream. Like I'm being rewarded for sticking to my guns. Um, I squeaked out a really lucky 2-1 against um, Josh on uh, Serene Xander, Fire Xander. Yeah. Um, I think I just neared him at the right times and like had enough pressure. Um, maybe one misplay somewhere, but yeah, just I just got him and he was like, oh. and I was like, oh. So lucky. I uh, played a nice dude from Auckland on um, Fire Gin, but he was a little bit more like allies y right. based, like almost like a Merlin ish shell, but then with gin. Um, it wasn't bad, but um, he didn't have resolute stands and just a oh. couple cards that would have helped him. So I think he killed me game one. And then second game, I was like, right, I got to kill you before you go to gin level three and i just like yeah. did the slice and dice combo and he's like what oh okay fair enough. <laughs> um deep yeah turn two turn and then three. what else what were the two other fire decks um oh fire oh, aggro fire. like uh amy from creative shop jason's wife she was a good laugh and she was playing like aggro xander i'm pretty sure and that was again a tight one like two yeah. one um so most of my games through that day were 2-1 and i mm. i remember saying to people i'm pretty sure like at least three of them i lost game one and right. then somehow just two one <laughs> like yes <yeah. laughs> like in ways remembered or learned the matchup as well yeah um true. and the other crazy thing that the deck was doing was like later on in the event like end of day one and into day two um, which we'll touch on it more, I guess, if we have a quick look at the deck. But it it has different ways, like very different lines and ways of killing people. Yeah, so depending on your draws. Yeah, so like I'd just be like, oh, I drew Sadie and Slice and Dice. And I was like, bounce, prep, Slice and Dice, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, my God. So then next game, they're like looking out for it. And I'll be like, near your champion, like to cost you an extra card. Yeah. Ally, ally, draw, ally. Just like swing, swing, beat you to death, like going wide on the board. Yeah. Um, and that was like a super good, um, you know, benefit or plus for me as well, I think, you know, like sort of splitting mm. completely differently how I, how I approached each game, like within a match, because mm. then they'd be like, oh, no, I need to look out for that. And then yeah. I'd just be like, well, I'll just do this. And they're like, oh, no. So, not yeah. that thing. So, yeah, end of day one. Oh, so I played Lejean in round seven six seven round seven and he game. was it seven round or eight yeah. round i think it was eight it was rounds. eight it was eight, it was eight. Yeah. yeah yeah it's a lot so i played oh no i played ivan ding how could i forget the man himself gave me the dick yeah and we get asked to go on stream again i'm like oh no back up stream um and yeah we had a bit of a kerfuffle at the start some forgetting cards and whatnot but we've brushed it over i was like let's have a fair match and he just destroyed me it was not fair at all. He, drew, he drew about four snow fairies in the two games and i drew like oh. none and he just locked down my board and just like played like a god like the yeah. god he is so yeah he destroyed me and i was like oh well fair enough so i was like four two at that point and then i played lejean in round seven he was on um nico water nico oh, okay. and i honestly i don't even think i'd played the matchup or uh, like i played a match into riley locally mm. um and it was tough like i could steal a win but i couldn't win that well mm. um and in fairness lejean played like perfectly like i reckon it was one of the tightest plays players and like deck being played against me for the weekend so props to you lejean but um yeah you know those situations where it's like everything you do they just have the answer yeah. or they have like you know you, you want to frostbind and they just keep two up and what and still do stuff and yeah. it's just like oh man um so he wasted me as well like two now so i'm like four three it's like oh my god and then um last round played uh josh i'm pretty sure from christchurch and um nicest guy ever like he had pre-declared like on the friday that he was selling out after that weekend oh. and he sold us his whole collection including his deck 
and then we play and I'm like, oh, do you just want to scoop? And he's like, nah, bro, I'm going to play it out. You know, we both went and I was like, fair enough. And then, um, so we like, we play and I think he again, maybe wins game one and then like game two, I get like a slice and dice combo off or something. And then game three, I just like I'm grinding him out, you know, going wide and like nearing, I neared him twice. So I neared level one Sylvie, he paid two, and then the next turn I played it on the level two. <laughs> it's just like, oh. I have like four allies and five cards, and he has mm. like one ally and like three or four cards. It was just like, and time's about to be called, and he's like, you know what, I'm just going to concede this game, like, you know, go for it, man, like, you know, yeah. thanks. And I was like, oh, thank you. So, yeah, big props to just... um reasonable attitude because if we both draw there we're not neither of us are in so he kind of took the higher ground and just offered that which was really good of him and really kind and you know meant both of us didn't get screwed so yeah that was a fitting end to the day and i just scrape in in like 30th and then and that was slime and it gave me a bit of confidence because you know i with five more minutes i probably win that game anyway Mm -hmm. and so day two i'm like all right, I have to literally 4-0 to make top eight. Yeah. And um, I was like, maybe, I, hopefully I'll just play against Slimes. Like, it seems winnable. Round one, I get the only other Nelson player. And uh-huh. <laughs> Ruben came 29th at his first big event. He's made day two. I was like, that's so cool. I'm like, that sucks. We have to play each other. But then he was also like a draw ahead above me. So... Mm. If I beat him, he still had a small chance to top, and I yeah. and I have to win to mm-hmm. have a chance, right? So we play, and I think he just kind of, honestly, I think he kind of overthought it a little bit. Right. Like I'm pretty sure there was a DG to level two in that match, which is just not, you know, not something not worth. Yeah. yeah, it's not good. So I was lucky, yeah, and I got him two 0 But you know, we we had fun, and and you know. He did so well anyway, and I was... He did pretty well for himself later yeah. anyway. Yeah, true. <laughs> Open a bloody... See you. See you. See you. Yeah, 49 of 72 Kongming out of a box. I traded him for his birthday. It was yeah. his birthday <laughs> that weekend. So, yeah, he ended up winning similar to me in top eight mm. uh, from that. But And then the next round I play Slimes again, and I'm just like, oh, man. Oh, one of the other fire matches on Saturday was Fire Slimes Hamish. He's got like a rivalry yeah. nemesis with me. <laughs> and I did the same thing to, to him that I did in Wellington, just like just play a near or two, and then just when he's not quite level three, just like slice and dice him yeah. with some dungeon guides or something. Um, right. Yeah, so he hated that. But he did well as well. He came top 16, which was epic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I play another Norm Slime. I think it was Christian from... Um, Australia that was really weird so it was the weirdest game almost of the weekend we both I just drew five spells and two crappy allies like a snow fairy and something mm-hmm. so I have no pressure no gas no Sadie slight you know nothing and he just apparently bricks as well like I think oh. he had drawn too many like advanced slime or something and he's just like Uh, you know and we just sat there honestly for like 20 minutes trying to like level and like create a board state Mm -hmm. um and i remember somehow at the end of the game like i just got him like he i like get to three and i'm gonna win with the shadows and the claw or something and then he like baby greens my um something like baby greens maybe the knife so that then i can't attack with the things but then i've already attacked and I had two mm. other allies out, and he was on 21. Right. And I just played Inspiring Call with, like, my three cards. <laughs> it gave uh-huh. my two other allies plus one and hit him for exact lethal. Didn't need and, the discount. And that was, like, that was, like, 32 minutes in or something. Right. And we were just, like, what Game the heck? Work. So, yeah, we, like play again and then like some mistakes happen in the second game we're both pretty tired like you know um mm. and yeah we went to time so i won one nil it was just like oh man <laughs> all right well. and then the next round was like the complete opposite i played norm slime again but it's the young 14 year old like whiz kid from singapore who's mm. real nice kid gave me brody spurlock vibes in a way of just like how 
on to it he was mm. and just like you know traveling at 14 playing yeah and like he was just like drawing at like rapid speed just like flicking his cards just like play this play this and i'm just like you know i had to almost just like okay you got enough right cards in hand well you know just checking that sort of <laughs> stuff and like yeah he was he was sharp i was like wow um carmen boo won the first but we win a game each and we go to tight like game three and I just, yeah, somehow just got there. And I was like, you know, that's lucky. Anyway, last round is um, our friend Aaron, uh, who we met in Melbourne, who went to Worlds as well from Singapore. And he's uh, on water, Nico. And I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> Savagely good player at a matchup I've been brutalized in already. Um, but he was in third place going into that round, last round. And I was in sixth. And I was like, do you just want to concede, bro? Like, you probably make it in here. Yeah. And, he, and surprisingly, because he's a nice dude, he's like, he's like, oh, you know, I do like you. You know, maybe it's I could consider, you know, maybe I could think about it. So he's like thinking about it, and he's like, oh. And in fairness, you know, after about 10 minutes of us trying to look at the numbers, and we're not, but neither of us are, like, good at the whole breakers yeah, and math breakers. of it all. I couldn't ID. Like he asked mm. me to ID and I was like, I've lost round one. I'm eight, three. I've got no draws, you know, like I'm pretty much out at an ID. Like I am out on an ID. I think straight mm. up. Uh, he could have ID'd and been safe. So he's like, oh yeah. And then he thinks about a concession and he's just like, I think I have to play like just to be safe. And I'm like, fair enough. But you know, we wasted like 10, 15 minutes of time for that, I guess. And then we not worth it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we start playing and he just crushes me game one. I'm like, fair enough. We play again. I draw like three lurkings and just like nothing else. And I think the hand's terrible, but I'm like, just don't tilt, don't tilt. Like he's got to be away. And I guess he didn't draw the best stuff. I think I got a nullifying mirror out, which might have helped in some points. Like they can't imbue cerulean oh, and they true. can't fractal the rain and stuff like that. Um, and I just managed to get all three lurkings down. They're all doing damage every turn. So he's already mm -hmm. like over 10. And then I just have this turn where I like draw another card or something and I'm a level and I just like double Halo Klein Scout and oh, tap, nice. yeah. tap his interceptor, like his. <laughs> Frostworn and yeah. tap him and then just beat the crap out of him and he just doesn't have the thing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, I got it, I got yeah. it. And win one all. And then I look at the clock and there's like seven minutes left and I'm just like, why did we talk about it? <laughs> you know, like I could have snuck or tried to steal the win at least. And yeah. now I'm going to get the draw, which is just like the same, what I couldn't do in the first place. And we start playing, sure enough, goes to time, all the judges are watching. You know, he's not going to concede at that point either again. He can't. And, like, I was just devastated, man. Like, honestly, mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm out on an ID. I'm out on a draw. And I just about to bubble out of top eight. Yeah, bubble out of top eight after going, like, undefeated all day. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, four rounds, which was the plan. I was running about five and a half, six hours sleep a night for that whole weekend as well. I was just like about to cry. I just like left my cards <laughs> on the table, walked off to the end of the room, just yeah. stood at the window, like looking out, like, why? Like, oh, man. <laughs> and like, as it's I turned pretty. to like come back, like Wilson's just like running through the bloody <laughs> room. One of the judges. Yeah, he was judging, judging and he'd yeah. put the results in or something. And he just comes bursting through the like, you know, floor down on the floor. And he's like running around. He's like, Marty, Marty, you're eighth, you're eighth. And I was like, what? And apparently, because we played mm -hmm. and we both got a win, you got a normal draw. His stuff went up, you yeah. know, for me, and then my win percentage went up a slightly, whatever. And like, yeah, just just eat me into eight by like a percent or something. Yeah, right? so Seven low. Yeah. yeah, so crazy. it was crazy. It was crazy. It was definitely. Uh, um, yeah, it was. It was probably the most. It was the most um, emotional like emotionally yeah. turbulent event you know lose round one two one after losing first game yeah. like four three or four matches you know making it in 30th out of 32 then having a win out you know it was just like oh man <laughs> like, yeah. and every game counted in yeah, that second it game. Did. and i played isaac in the quarters who obviously won and it was great to see you win isaac so good job man i hope you're enjoying that trophy um and we had a really nice 
game match uh, we just were chill you know we were both of the kind of attitude of like we're just stoked to make top eight yeah. it was kind of the, the overall goal you know um and then if we can win from there sure but um and he did so it was awesome and I, but I was like, I was fairly hopeful, you know, mm. in the back of my mind, I was like, I could, I could win this. I could go to top four because I've beaten what four slimes yeah. in the last, you know, day, um, in a row. So it's like, make it five. And we had one very close win each, like neither of us, neither of our wins were like a blowout, but it was like, you know, and we both win a game each and we go to the third game. It was about an 11, 12 turn game. And I'm like level three and like preventing attacks. And I think I was on 24 damage for literally three turns. Oh. Um, and on the last turn, I've like killed his last taunter ending in um, Sadie. And I have agility and I have six in hand with two frostbite. And he has like three or four cards, but then he draws a sep verdant scepter. And then he plays Gaia's Blessing and he reveals a two cost slime obviously off the top, which is uh, I think literally what he needs perfect. to be able to get around yeah. two Frostbite. And then I had Lethal next turn, so it's like, uh, you know, he, had, so he, he won and it was good. And he, he, he got me good with Resolute as well. Like Resolute inside for slime was, I think was quite a good shout. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was cool. And I was just happy as, and uh, now I have a wind spirit, so I might have to nice. play windy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was just uh, very grateful. Thank you to um, all my opponents and everyone who gave me encouragement and brought me food and just helped help keep me on the level. But yeah, it was. I think you've definitely got to believe in yourself. That's yeah, a very cliche. Just sort of, gotta believe. Yeah, you just gotta believe. You know, like visualize. Part of the cards. Yeah, just visualize, like you know what you want to try and do and just believe that you can do it like i've played cards for 20 years or more now like competitively and legitimately i only actually realized that in the last year like yeah. with ga and with like the whole nationals True. world's journey mm -hmm. and now into here like found your game yeah well you, but just you know kind of being like trust in your hours and hours of play trust in your deck choice you know, try get some sleep, trust in yourself, and just play good games. And there's no yeah. reason why you won't get, get there. there eventually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was that. That was cool. Mm. And a good deck doesn't doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turned out to be a good deck. I yeah. mean, it's absolutely absurd that I didn't play a single win deck. True. That whole week. There were a few of them in there. Yeah. Yeah. So even if I had beaten uh, Isaac, I would have just got crushed. Like, crushed by Uyang. Yeah, Uyang and uh, Water Nika repair as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't my tournament to win, but that's why I'm just glad I could squeak in for the the top. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. And you had not a great time. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. No, we, we won't. But. <laughs> You yeah. took win Vanitas. Yeah, it I took was win like, Vanitas because oh, I was, I was a little bit spiked. A little bit of a spicy one, to be honest. Maybe I overspiced it a little bit too much. Did you cut the slime package? When no, you... I didn't. Oh, you In the end, it? I kept the slime package. It was all right. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I just I just missed out on day two by one win. Damn. But I um, ended up scooping one of my mates into day two in the yeah. final or second to last round. So yeah, that good on you. that was yeah that, that was, was the right thing the right to thing do. to do. Yeah, good idea. Um, and we got you back on board there. You were... Yeah, I almost quit the game <laughs> after day one. I'm so hurt about it. <laughs> but it's all right. We're back. We're back. Yeah. I'm going to Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Melbourne. <laughs> I'm going to try and win Melbourne eh? after the, the flight forced yeah. second place. Same format. I'm coming for you, Glenn. <laughs> no new sets before then. Just maybe some bands. Who knows? Yeah. So should be good. We'll be experienced. So I guess we've talked for quite a while, but yeah. maybe we'll have a quick now look. Now 30 minutes into the video, let's do the yeah. attack. <laughs> <laughs> we could do them separate. I don't no. know. Chop and change. No. Let's we'll do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you need Grand Archive singles, go to cardmerchantnelson.co.nz and use the code CMNSN5 at checkout for 5% off orders of $50 or more. We ship around the world and orders within New Zealand over $200 get free shipping. Your purchase with this code will help support more videos like this one. You can also support us by liking and commenting on this video and subscribing to our channel to see more of our uploads. 
Catch you next time.